traveling Ronan here. A few months ago, I made this video. I, it was about the Civil War reenactment in Keokuk, Iowa. After I posted, members of the 9th Virginia Cavalry saw it, reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to participate in an actual Civil War reenactment instead of just watching from the side. Without any further ado, I grabbed my wife, I grabbed my best friend, enlisted, and we went to war. A student of the Civil War will quickly notice that the 9th Virginia Cavalry is a Confederate unit. However, I'm crewing as a powder monkey on a Union gun. Conscription and the draft were actually popular with both armies and was enforced on both sides. Uh, so what had ended up happening is the Union was short a gunner. Uh, I ended up then being conscripted to the 3rd Iowa Light Artillery. Uh, and from there, serving on their gun. At least I'm pretty sure it was the 3rd Iowa Light Artillery. The funny thing with conscription is you get drafted somewhere. I didn't really know anything about the people I was going to be serving with other than they welcomed me in and from there we went to war together. <laughs> on day two, I ended up back on the Confederate side with my wife and friend crewing a mortar. Trench warfare had taken off by this point in the war uh, around the Battle of Atlanta and the Battle of Peachtree. Both sides were looking for different ways to counter enemy fortifications. The mortar was used to throw rounds up and over enemy fortifications and down on the troops behind them. Uh, we need to ram first.
Thank you to the 9th Virginia Cavalry uh, for taking us in, for clothing us, for giving us a place to sleep, and generally through walking us through two days of reenactment. Also want to reach out, thank the 3rd Iowa for the hospitality that they showed me while crewing on one of their guns. If you're interested in reenacting, definitely just reach out to one of the local groups. They'll be able to get you outfitted. Uh, just ask them if you can join them for a day. A lot of them have spare uniform pieces that you can use your first time out to figure out if this is something you want to get into. Of course, as you get into it more and more, you'll be expected to purchase some level of kit, but at least getting off the bat, go in, go try it, it's a lot of fun. Of course, there's always going to be the question of do you go on the Union side or the Confederate side, North or South? The big thing to remember here is you're an actor bringing history to life and demonstrating a martial event that shaped America. This is no more about your personal views than Hannibal Lecter represented the personal views of Anthony Hopkins. So just go out, go have fun. It doesn't matter what side you're on. It is a great day. Also, if you're interested in some more adventure videos, we've got another channel. It's called Rugged. You can see some of the videos here. That's stuff I film with my wife going all around America, seeing various adventures. And if you want to see more of The Traveling Ronin, I write a blog. You're able to see how we go more in depth, get a much more analysis uh, of the situations and the adventures that we have. As well, if you want to interact with me, the best way to do that is certainly over Facebook. Uh, a link to that is down below as well. And you just have to sign in. Just give me a shout. If you have any questions, commentary, more than happy to hear from you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. I'm the Traveling Ronin. Keep training hard.